If a person is an atheist and is buried without religious rituals, through what channel does his soul leave? Is it possible that it will be incarnated in a secular, atheistic society in the future? Anything is possible. You know, it is very important to minimize the rituals associated with funerals in the system we live in. Rituals are not a joke. We live in a system where symbols have an effect and religious rituals work, even if they are performed by a drunken priest. It doesn't matter, because it all works, and it will have its effect if the funeral was held without any rites at all, but the deceased was buried in a cemetery lit by a Christian church. It is not without reason that people who wanted to avoid the funeral rite spent so much time and effort asking their religious relatives to burn them after their death and scatter their ashes over the Polkovo Heights, the Baltic, or the Black Sea, or elsewhere. It is not a whim or a fancy. It is a deep understanding that nothing will stop until this running in an endless cycle comes to an end. As for reincarnation in other systems, it all depends on your agreement with that system. Nothing stops you from setting an intention and building a vector of your departure now in your lifetime. This also works. Especially in combination with the proper ritual. And similar to the Abrahamic religious systems, there are such rituals in the pagan systems. The pagan systems also have a pretty well-formed package that is already full of ritualism. You just have to explore and study this question. That is the price of the issue. You must prove that you will not wait for mercy from the channel through which you will leave, as do the religious followers of the same Christianity or other Abrahamic religions. That you don't want to rely on God's will and leave everything in His hands, that you will act like a pagan, in general, the consciousness of a pagan and an atheist is similar in many ways. A pagan is one whose consciousness values his freedom, including the freedom of his own choice above all else. And that means you must set an intention with a clear understanding of where, when, and under what conditions you will leave this world, if you want to come back here again and make a new agreement, you will need to understand and know all the aspects of the current agreement. And now, while you are still alive, Seek the information and take the geist that you need to fulfill in order to form a certain energy volume, a reserve that will be sufficient for your transition. So that the light at the end of the tunnel does not pull you in. So that you have enough strength to resist going through the channels that have already been laid. You need to have a very good amount of energy to do this. By developing awareness and having the ability to reinforce yourself with your personal egregore, you can be sure that it will weigh you down enough that you won't be dragged down by the unwanted channel. The heaviness of your consciousness will be so great that you will be able to go wherever you want in the countercurrent of this channel. And if during your lifetime you set up an informational vector of connection, with your own God, with your own space, with your own reality, 
you get an opportunity in today's computer language to change the location and to move there without much damage to your own memory. It is important to prepare for this during your lifetime. Once upon a time in Greece, the Eleusinian mysteries were held for this very purpose, to prepare the consciousness for a proper transition, preferably without loss of memory. These were serious rituals, and they fell into two categories, lesser and greater mysteries. The lesser mysteries were a kind of entertainment show open to everyone. They had one mythological basis. The greater mysteries, which were not accessible to all, had a different mythological basis. Those who study the Greco-Roman channel in our general theory of magic course explore this question in detail, it contains very enlightening information for everyone. At the very least, each of you can apply it to your own life and begin to realize it. And you don't need a mystery guide or any other guru teacher at all. You can do absolutely anything on your own. You just have to know what you want, when you want it, where you want it, and how much you are willing to invest. When, where, to whom, and how much, these four rules always work.